Today I'm going to look at this uh, amplifier, the XHM189. So this is a 60 watt per channel stereo amplifier board. So it's class D, it's a digital amplifier. And it's been very kindly sent to me free of charge by icstation.com. So there we go, the listed price when I looked it up online was $5.99 quite a low price for such a powerful amplifier and if we look at the board layout so on the left hand side we've got inputs and outputs so we've got a 3.5 headphone jack uh, we've got an input jack on the front also and then the uh, variable resistor for the volume and uh, on and off switch and looking at the back of the board we have power in the center of that connector and then either side we have the right and left speaker outputs and you can see the board layout it's uh, symmetrical so it's a, a stereo board so let's connect up some wires see how it performs Right, I've connected everything up now, so I've got a couple of small speakers here, some old PC speakers, which I've wired up on the right and left channels here. I've got uh, power coming in here, so this is about 10 volts at the moment. Uh, it says on the uh, web page, I think it said it can run up to 25 volts, but I'll use 10 volts for now. And uh, as we saw, this is actually the input here. Well, both both these are inputs. We've got this um, three-way PCB connector now. I'm not sure what those, those are called. Uh, and the 3.5 stereo jack. So I'm going to use that because it makes it easy to plug in a uh, an MP3 player. Okay, so we power on. So this is... Uh, the, the power switch and the volume control and see there's a blue LED there which tells me that it's on if I put, uh, get my mp3 player now so I've got something from the YouTube audio library here so I don't uh, violate anyone's copyright I'll plug that in So that sounds all right. Um, it goes up pretty loud and um, Audio quality sounds absolutely fine. So what I might do now is connect it up to the oscilloscope and put the put a sine wave in here and grab the output in the scope and see if there's any visible distortion. So something I hadn't really allowed for is that the Class D amplifier actually sends a train of square wave pulses. So uh, looking at the bottom there, you see the square wave pulses are at 1.7 megahertz. And you can see some very square looking pulses jumping about there on the output of the amplifier. And if I compare that with the input, so the input you can see it's jittering about a little bit but the it's around the 2 kilohertz level so about 1.8 kilohertz is the input frequency which is why it's audible but if I uh, mess with the frequency here on the function generator So 
So there we are, there's not much I can discover about the distortion of this amplifier, but it certainly sounds all right from a, from a musical point of view. So that's the 2 times 50 watt Class D amplifier from icstation.com. Uh, sounds all right, and I think for $6 that presents pretty good value.